Hello there, everyone. I'm Rundy Murphy, um, epidemiologist and director of disease surveillance at the Mobile County Health Department. So, you know, we've picked up doing daily Facebook Live so that we can give you the most current information on um, vaccine availability and the effect of the pandemic on Mobile County. I'm going to try to keep these pretty brief just to provide you with um, just a few pieces of really critical information. And then on Mondays and Fridays, we'll try to do a lengthier um, um, event where we um, answer questions that we get on Facebook and the media. So today, I just want to um, remind you of, of a couple of things. You know, COVID vaccination and the warp speed activities and when vaccine is available and how much is available and who has it is just a rapidly changing situation. And um, we're going to do our best to, to, to keep you informed. So a couple of things that have changed since yesterday. So the 1-855 toll-free number that the Alabama Department of Public Health set up to schedule appointments does not exist any longer. Do not call that number. Um, it was uh, plagued from the beginning, and we are trying to adapt and do the best we can to accommodate everyone who got appointments through that line or who provided the um, the um, phone, the people who answer the phone there, the, the, um, their name and address because they were interested in getting vaccine. Okay, so the 855 number um, is no longer being used. Please don't call it. We did, Mobile County Health Department did not schedule and we did not cancel um, appointments, but we are trying to accommodate everyone who received an appointment, whether it was on the day of the clinic or not, or who received a call about a canceled appointment. So a little bit more about that in a second. Um, we will no longer take appointments or schedule appointments for vaccines. It's just um, incredibly inefficient. We never know when we're going to get vaccine, how much we're going to get, and um, making appointments and having to reschedule them and cancel them when we're trying to, you know, vaccinate hundreds and hundreds of people um, daily is just, um, it's just too inefficient. So um, starting today or we are going to be going to a no appointment process, first come, first serve basis when we do have available first dose vaccine. Um, we have received all of our second doses um, that are coming up this week and next. We have clinics scheduled to give second doses to the people, the first 500 people that receive vaccine from us. And we are going to, to do our best to accommodate all of the canceled, made, misunderstood appointments and everyone who ended up on a list, whether it was at the health department or at the state health department to try to get those all accommodated um, by the end of next week. So what do you do instead? So instead, we have a recorded message at 251-410-MCHD. Again, 251-410-MCHD should be able to see it in the screen there on our Facebook book, um, post. And you can also go to a new website that we stood up yesterday, mchd.org. There is a banner there that says COVID vaccine information. Click on the button that says link, and that will take you to a website that provides information on who we're vaccinating, how much vaccine do we have, when do we have clinics open, those sorts of things. That Those two communication mechanisms are going to be your best way to find out when we're changing eligibility, when we're you know um, vaccinating other priority groups, uh, when we're able to pop up a clinic, that sort of thing. So again, 251-410-MCHD or mchd.org and click on the link button under the banner that says COVID vaccine information. So then kind of who is going to be um, vaccinated. So there, you know, right now the health department has very little first dose available. We kind of did some math last night. We we think we're going to be able to give some new first doses next week. All of our second doses here, we're making sure that every single first dose that we have is allocated by the end of next week to accommodate the people who've had canceled appointments or have been queued by the health department. There is no change in eligibility. You may have heard today on the governor's press conference and Dr. Scott Harris that the Safer at Home order was extended through March 5th in its current form. 
Um, and they did not expand the peop- the list of people who are eligible. So for right now, it is still healthcare workers, first responders, um, people, residents and um, workers in long-term care facilities, and people who are 75 and older. And really any hospital-based occupation that may come in contact or have high risk exposure opportunities with COVID-19. So if you're not a doctor, but maybe you, um, you know, are a, a custodial worker on the COVID unit, or, you know, maybe you're not a, a nurse, but you pro- provide first rights to um, people who are, um, you know, nearing their end of life um, in a hospital setting, those, those sorts of situations. So the, the telephone number and the website will provide information on vaccine availability and distribution sites. And we will not be able to project these very far in the future because we never know when we're going to get vaccine. But for now, next Wednesday, January the 27th, um, I believe it's from 11 to 3. So again, next Wednesday, January 27th from 11 to 3, we will be able to take community members, preferably Mobile County residents, who meet the current eligibility between 11 and 3 o'clock, right? So this is, again, to try to use up the very last few of our first doses that we have on hand. And we have no information from ADPH of when we may get another allocation. What I'm told is that ADPH doesn't even know because of the holiday this week and the change in administration. There were some delays in making the allocations Um, known to the state health departments. So again, no appointments, call 410-MCHD or go to our website to stay, to get the most up-to-date information. Follow us here on Facebook because we'll give information here when we can. So we are going to be having some second dose appointments over the next um, two weeks, have some makeup Um, first doses for people who had appointments that were canceled or moved or misunderstood. And then on the 27th, on Wednesday from 11 to 3 at the the Mobile Cruise Terminal, we will provide first come, first serve vaccine as long as it lasts to um, people who meet the current eligibility requirements, 75 years or older, first responders, healthcare workers with direct exposure to COVID-19 infected patients, and health-related occupations with direct exposure to COVID-19 infected persons, do, or patients. Do not show up without your, your proof of eligibility. So if you're 75 and over, your um, driver's license will do or some other form of ID. If you're a first responder, a healthcare worker, or in a health-related occupation where you have direct exposure with infected patients, you must bring your credentials or your identification to to prove that you'll be turned away at the entry of the cruise terminal parking lot if you cannot demonstrate that you meet that eligibility. Again, we're trying to comply with the guidance from the state health department that those are the only groups that we're um, able to vaccinate at this time. So I think that is all I will cover today. You know, I've had lots of people um, ask me and and ask Dr. Chavers and ask um, Aaron and Denise and all of the other um, dozens and dozens of people that are working hard to put vaccine in arms of people who qualify and who need it most. You know, isn't it frustrating that there's such a a large demand for vaccine, um, such a limited supply, you know, the, the sort of misstep with the 855 to toll-free number, uh, you know, people like to have appointments, but again, we just can't offer that right now due to sort of inefficiencies. And yes, you know, we all are um, anxious and concerned and excited um, about vaccine. And so we just beg your patience as we try to work through some of the realities. In a perfect world, we would have as much vaccine as we needed and be able to vaccinate, you know, seven days a week, anyone who wanted to get it. But that's not the reality that we live in. So with the extremely limited supply, the critically low supply of vaccine across the state of Alabama, and the fact that we have um, mostly second doses, we are doing our best to get it out there to people who need it most and meet those eligibility requirements. So we will talk to you again tomorrow on um, Facebook Live at 2.30, where we'll give you some more vaccine updates and answer more of the media's and Facebook's questions. So um, have a good evening, everyone. We'll talk to you tomorrow.